a tortoise the size of an island to the massive, mysterious Ninjin. Here are 10 cryptids from the deep sea. Welcome to Crypto Fun Fridays. USS Stein Monster. This cryptid was named for the destroyer escort USS Stein, which is claimed to have been attacked in 1978 by an unknown species of giant squid. It was thought to have destroyed the surface of the ship's sonar dome, with nearly 10% of that surface wrecked. The idea that the creature could have been a squid is due to remnants of curved claws, similar to those found on certain squid's tentacles being discovered in cuts left at that scene. Those claws were much larger than any reported at the time. We found unsubstantiated claims that the critter could have measured around 150 feet or more. Siakoi. They might be best described as mermen by way of a horror movie. These creatures appear in the mythology of the Philippines, and they're described as humanoid, with green skin covered with patchy scales, along with webbed hands and feet, and fins located on various parts of the body. Some accounts claim they have tentacles, but most descriptions concur that these creatures are male, and are the most animal-like of all the merfolk. They're said to drown humans unlucky enough to encounter them, and it's said that intimidating marine life such as eels, rays, and squids will often swim alongside them. Sirena. So we just told you about the Siakoi. Now, here's the Sirena, one of the female counterparts. Also found in Filipino mythology, these creatures are usually portrayed not unlike mermaids, with the head and body of a human female and a fish tail. While most accounts claim they have a beautiful appearance, they're said to have a vicious temperament. The Sirena is known to hypnotize men with their hypnotic voice. They're especially known to enchant crewmen, distracting them long enough to cause shipwrecks. In some traditions, the Sirena will abduct crewmen and take them underwater as a sacrifice to water deities. In particular, they do seem to enjoy hypnotizing men into following them into the water, whereupon they apparently take great amusement in drowning the victims. Did you know the male version of the Sirena is called a Sirena? Zeratan. We know that tortoises can get pretty big, but the Zeratan is a tortoise so huge that its shell could be mistaken for a small island. Said to be hundreds of feet in diameter, the carapace resembles a rocky sloped mound of land. Sailors have dropped anchor on this misidentified landmass, only to be drowned when the ship is dragged underwater at night. That's when the creature sinks below the waves. When the Zeratan is hungry, it attracts prey with a sweet smell that emanates from its mouth. When its mouth is sufficiently full, it snaps its jaws shut, similar to an alligator. There's speculation that this cryptid might have some relation to Archelon, the largest genus of sea turtles so far known. They were estimated to weigh close to 5,000 pounds. Conrit. The term conrit applies to sea serpents, but this critter from Vietnam is unique in that it's usually described as a huge aquatic centipede. It's said to live in the South China Sea, and its body is composed of a series of bony plates, along with fish-like fins it uses to swim. A beached carcass found in 1833 was said to measure more than 60 feet long and around 3 feet wide. Fifty years later, a creature with a similar description washed ashore in Vietnam. It was decapitated, but had segmented joints that were tough and durable, and they sounded like sheet metal when struck. In the late 19th century, a ship sailing near Cape Falcon, Algeria, encountered a creature that matched the Conrit's appearance. It had countless fins it used to propel itself through the water and was fast enough to keep pace with the vessel. That creature was estimated to be more than 130 feet long. Best guesses for this critter include it being some sort of huge segmented sea creature like a gigantic crustacean. Its last documented appearance was in the 1960s in Hong Kong. Shaw Laddie, also known as the Beach Walker, this creature has been reported since the 1700s and is said to be the most commonly sighted sea monster in Iceland, even though it's known to dwell on the shore. It's about the size of a ram, and it makes a distinct clicking sound as it walks, and that's due to the barnacles and muscles attached to its dark fur. Depending on the source, they can have feet that are either hooved or webbed, and they're also said to have fangs with a 
facial resemblance to seals. Now, the good news for humans is that shore laddies are vegetarians, but they do exhibit some oddball behavior, such as a tendency to breed with sheep and creating deformed lambs. Eyewitness accounts of shore dwellers continue to this day along the western fjords of Iceland. Kraken. Well, now, you just cannot have this sort of a list without mentioning the Kraken, now can you? These well-known cryptids are traditionally believed to live off the coasts of Greenland and Norway. While these animals are usually thought of as resembling giant squids, some accounts describe them as not having tentacles and having a greater resemblance to whales or crabs. Experts trace the creature's origins to a 13th century old Icelandic saga, where a beast known as the Sea Mist was mentioned. It was described as the greatest monster in the sea, able to swallow ships and whales alike. Many cryptozoologists do agree that the kraken could have been a giant squid. Those creatures can reach 60 feet or longer, although some of those measurements are scientifically undocumented. The legendary creature gained fame through the ages as a favorite sea monster, and of course for being memorably released by Liam Neeson in Clash of the Titans. Yumabosu. Merely mentioning the name of this cryptid is enough to sink ships, along with any unfortunate crew members aboard. These sea spirits from Japanese mythology have skin ranging in color from gray to black, along with serpentine limbs and a torso made of storm clouds. They're also referred to as the Buddhist monk from the sea. That's a reference to the bald heads, and because the creature sometimes appears to be prying. That plays into a belief that the Yumabosu are actually the souls of Buddhist monks who drowned at sea. Did you know that they are also referred to as yokai, or demonic specters that appear to fishermen and castaways? The name Leviathan has become synonymous with gargantuan sea creatures or monsters, although in modern Hebrew it means whale. It was first referenced in the Old Testament, where it's often described as a type of sea serpent. Other sources describe the cryptid as a dragon that lives above the sources of the deep. Some of the characteristics attributed to this monstrosity include its length, claimed to be some 300 miles. When it's hungry, Leviathan can generate heat from its mouth so intense it makes the oceans boil, and that would apparently provide a cooked meal as such. The huge creature also had eyes that could cast forth a blinding light, and was said to possess powerful fins. Now bear in mind, these characteristics are gathered from various sources, and not all coincide with one another. However, some theories do speculate that Leviathan could have been a creature not unlike a dinosaur. Would you agree? Now, before we get to number one, we did want to thank you again for all the support we've received. Much gratified for that. And we also wanted to pass along some honorable mentions to the list. We found an interesting cryptid called the Rhinoceros Dolphin. The large critters are black with white blotches and have two dorsal fins. Their existence has never been proven or disproven when you think of it. And some of you might be wondering where the Loch Ness Monster is. Well, we have featured Nessie many times on Crypto Fun Friday, but we're not including her in this one since she is usually sighted in lakes and rivers, and these particular cryptids are found at sea. Her last official sighting at Loch Ness was recorded in August of 2016, and as soon as Nessie makes a first appearance for 2017, we'll let you know. Ninjin means human in Japanese, and crew members aboard whale research ships from Japan have reported sightings of humanoid life forms in the waters of the Antarctic. The creatures are huge, with estimates of 30 meters or more in length. They're so big they've sometimes been mistaken for submarines. Most accounts describe them as having a stark white coloration, usually with arms, legs, and hands that have five fingers. Other accounts claim that Ninjin have fins rather than legs, and even tentacles. Pictures of these cryptids have proven difficult to come by because they seem to be most active at night. Now, we did find an interesting story from 2016 where photos of a supposed Ninjin were taken by an underwater camera in icy waters of the Antarctic. Now, our sources could not provide a definite location, but the alleged creature does appear to have a humanoid shape and has appendages resembling arms stretched out, making it look as if it's floating in the water. So far, there's been no definitive explanation as to what this particular might actually be, but cryptozoologists have speculated that the Ningen could be anything from an albino whale to some unknown alien species. Give us your theories in the comments. <laughs> 